Hello everyone, Vex here, and, well, we're on Train Sim World, um, 2. I mean, 3. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd make a video on it. Um, basically just a general gameplay style video. Uh, cause, you know, I haven't really done a proper video. I did the sort of overview of it, um, and then I also did, um, a stream on it. I've never done a proper normal video for it, so I'd, I'd say we just have a nice chill. Um, video while we do a route. Or, no, let's do the 377, because I, I think that's just cooler. Uh, let's see what we can um, do that's relatively short. We can do Clapham Junction to East um, Croydon. That sounds like a good route, to be honest. So how about we do that dynamic weather? Let's make it 23rd of July, just so that it's more bright. Um, anyway, let's just go and do two Oscar 07 I think it was if I got that right even though I literally just saw it then you have to subscribe by the way you should subscribe we're trying to get to like 7k before the end of the year um, and we're currently what 700 subscribers away so you know let's reach it so let's um get going and it will be a bit laggy. I do apologize, uh, but you know, my, I'm not the best at this. So let's turn the master key forward and then unlock the doors. And then let's turn AWS and DSD on. And then the other stuff that we need to do is turn headlights on to day running, tail lights off. Um, and then what else? I'm guessing... Yeah, right, so everything's set up, I think. There might have been a few neat details that I missed out, but that's beside the point. So let's wait 10 seconds for the train to depart, and yeah. Um, so yeah, let's lock the doors. Let's see those lock. Oh, more to the point, close. And let's get going to our next stop, which is Balham. And it's supposed to schedule to take us about five minutes to get there. Uh, let's hope that it does take five minutes, because I don't really want to wait. I, 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 I kind of don't want to have this 20, 20, 25 minute journey be ages. And there's a 60 limit. So once the train passes a 60 limit, which is just past this bridge there it is we can speed up from 20 miles an hour to 60 miles an hour oh there's a train i'm gonna have a nice little aerial view you know let's get let's um wait there we can have this as like the thumbnail at ah, dsd <laughs> right let's continue heading um we're now at 60 miles an hour so let's Slow down, there we go, so that we're right at the limit. But we are approaching Balham, we're about 0.7 miles away. So just apply slight brake force. Might have braked a bit too early though. Let's just coast at 39 miles an hour. There it is, down there, Balham. I'm guessing there might have been a train that has just been in um, Balamo, just departing. Yeah. So it's cleared the station, which means that we can stop and do passenger loading. It's a bit of an overshoot, but what can I say? I'm not a very good driver. But let's release the doors on the right hand side there we go and here we are at Balham wait at Balham right the camera's been a bit weird but you know right we've got to wait here until 30 seconds past 40 minutes past 8 so about a minute and a half we've got to wait here for so I'll see you then and now we're waiting for until let's just close the doors now oh 
and let's head off to the next stop, which is... I think that's pronounced Streatham Common. Co Streatham Common. I don't know why I turned it into common. A column. I don't know, I can't speak today. It's, it's been a bit of a long day. But let's speed up to 40 miles an hour, because that's a limit that's literally just there. Um, and yeah, let's head the 1.8 mile um, journey to there. I guess now's a good time to talk about the game as a whole, and to be honest, I feel like this is probably my one of my most favorite games, to be honest, because I just like the um, the relative simplicity of it. You know, you don't have to um, know all the ins and outs to drive the train, which, you know, it's nice. And luckily the train's on this route, um, the 377, the 387, and, well, any other trains that you might have, which I think is a 375 for Southeastern and the um, 166 for GWR. And um, you've also got the 66, but in terms of passenger trains, everything's relatively easy to drive. So it doesn't take the most amount of knowledge to do it. And you don't need absolutely all of the things that you need. All of the experience and all of the buttons being pressed. Putting it simply, uh, which is what I quite like about it. The only issue with it, it's just that it can be quite laggy. And this, well, London Commuter is by far the laggiest route for me. I can understand why, but it just makes recording videos and- Oh my goodness, there is a red signal. Oh, it changed. We almost spatted. And if we spatted, then the video would be over. It would be a short video and I won't be able to- Yeah. But regardless, let's just continue. I mean, we should have started to slow down already. We're cutting it a tad bit fine here. Um, bring it to a stop. Open the doors and we'll wait here for about a minute and a half. Uh, Streatham Common. All right, let's close the doors. There they go. There goes an express. Well, I'd say express. It's more of a... I don't know. Is it, what do we call it? Express or... I'm not sure what the terminology is. A fast Southern 377. A non-stopping 377. I think it is express, but... Regardless, we saw one. And luckily, Norbury is 0 0.7 miles away, so we don't really have to go far. And we don't have to go, well, that fast. But, yeah, let's do the short jaunt, literally quite round the corner, to um, Norbury. Alright, let's close the doors. And head 1.2 miles to Thornton Heath. We're now approaching basically the Croydon area. There's Thornton Heath. And then... We've got two stops. Which... Um, so basically we've got Thornton Heath, Stelhurst, and I think East Croydon. And then we'll be finished. Hopefully within like 15 minutes. And here we are, getting into Thornton Heath. Let's break a tad bit more. And here we are. Yep, we've got to wait a minute here at Thornton Heath. And then we're going to have to stop at Selhurst and then East Croydon where the route finishes. It is quite nice though. I, I like doing services like this where they're quite close together but not too close together and it's got the speed limits and the signal changes and whatnot. Um, which, to be honest, 
Brighton Mainline has to be one of my favourite um, DLCs for Train Some Hold. I do quite like um, Southeastern High Speed, especially um, with the 465. Um, yeah, stuff like that I quite like. So let's close the doors and head to Selhurst. Just 0 0.7 miles away, just around the corner. And I think, yeah, it has a, um, a TMD there. The next signal is red, though, so we do have to be a bit cautious about that. I mean, I'm not sure whether or not it should be red, because, you know, you do have a whole signal block. In between it but you know doesn't really matter it's changed now anyway um so, so the next stop is selhurst three seven seven passing That was a long 377. I think that was a 12 car one. Right, let's slow down anyway for Selhurst. As we get into Croydon. And it just crashed. That's my PC for you.